Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we are unboxing a new fridge. Now, now the question might be, Bob, why are you un unboxing a fridge? Um, and why is it there's someone around you that you're giving it to? Because this fridge is for me and because my truck fridge just failed. I've had that truck fridge now for three years and it just, uh, just quit, just didn't stop working one day. Uh, and I could ship it back to New Jersey, but the thing is 50 pounds, I'd have to find the box, I'd have to pack it, I'd have to ship it, I'd have to pay for whatever the repair, it's long since out of warranty, and then I'd have to pay to ship it back to me. So <laughs> I'm pretty confident by the time I've done that, I will have spent a couple hundred bucks, I think, uh, I'll have to buy whatever part it is, and, and the shipping is going to be outrageous because it's, it's, it's at least 50 pounds. So, uh, you know, I just kind of decided uh, I'm, I'm not going to buy another one. I'm just going to buy a new fridge. It's in the landfill right now. Um, they're not, you know, they're, they're usually one-off parts. You know, it's a board that goes, and, and they're not replaceable. And that's the problem with these little fridges. They're so small and tiny inside that uh, a lot of the things just aren't replaceable. So... Uh, I had a friend, I just, you know, just failed, and then all of a sudden I'm losing all my food. And I had a friend who was just upgrading, had, bu had just bought a new fridge, and it arrived, and they had an extra. And so I put the, her little fridge in my, in my rig. It's 20 quart. My, my, uh, my truck fridge was 55, and I thought, 20 quart? I can't live with a 20 quart. But that's what I've got. I mean, that's what I've got. I'll have to order and buy a new fridge. So uh, I put the 20 quart in and I, you know, I was amazed when I put everything back in, uh, everything went back in. I thought, wait a minute, I've got a 55 quart fridge and everything's going into this 20 quart. What's going on? Well, I took everything out of the original packaging and put it in Ziplocs. That saved a lot. And I was low. It was just fortunate. I was kind of low in my supply right now. And so it just turned out that I, I got everything in my 20 quart, no problem, which I was very happy about. And, uh, and so I've been, I used it, the 20 quart, for about a week. And you know what I decided? I decided I could live with the 20 quart. And she had paid $239 for this, this uh, 20 quart fridge. And I was very happy with a 20 quart fridge. Uh, but there was one problem with a 20 quart or I might just still be using it. And the problem was that my bottles of Pepsi, I'm a Pepsi addict, yes, write me stories, or, or, or write me nasty letters, or write me love letters telling me how bad Pepsi is, it's killing me, I'm gonna die. I'm dying, I'm dying right now. The day I was born, I was dying, you're dying, we're all dying. If you are a living creature on this planet, you're dying. The only matter, question is, how much time you got left? And um, hopefully I've got a lot of time left, but if I don't, I'm gonna enjoy my Pepsi until that last breath. So that's a settled issue. Uh, but these wouldn't stand upright. They was, you know, then I, so I put all that I had in there. I like cold Pepsi. It's just that simple. I'm not going to do without it. I'm not out here to, to uh, traumatize myself and see how little pleasure I can live with. I want my pleasures. And one of them is a microwave and one of them is cold Pepsi. Cold Pepsi and meat means fridge. So that's what I've got. And so uh, I, it wouldn't hold my cold Pepsis only this way, but it wouldn't hold milk. And I do like having milk and cereal. Um, and I buy, uh, and we'll go through my fridge here in a bit. Uh, I buy a kind, special kind of milk. This is ultra pasteurized. It lasts forever. It doesn't even have to be refrigerated until you open it. And uh, I love this milk. It tastes fine, but the, the, uh, the cows are treated very, very well, and it lasts a very, very long time. In my fridge, once opened in my fridge, it'll last a month. I, and I'm not a, certain of that, but it, it'll last a long time. This wouldn't hold it. The, the fridge that I, I borrowed from my friend uh, wouldn't hold it. So let me take, let's take a look at that fridge. I like that fridge a lot. Um, and let's take a look at it right now. So now we're inside, and this is the fridge that I borrowed from my friend. It's the weirdest name I've ever seen. It's an F40C4 TMP. That's, that's its name, a brand name which is bizarre. It's a 20 quart fridge. It's 12 volt compressor, of course, and it's small. 20 quart is very small. My truck fridge was 55 quart and it filled this entire space. See all the way up to there, 
that was the lid of the fridge and it went all the way down and you can see at the bottom that it was on this roller let me get this pull this out a bit you can see how it was so tall the door it took came all the way up to here filled this whole space i could just barely get my hand in about like that and it was this tall and it was very heavy so when i went to this small fridge it could uh it, it didn't take up all that space i don't have to roll it anymore but uh, now, because it's so short, it's only 20 quart as opposed to 55, I can open it up no problem. And there it is, you know, all my stuff. I can reach in. It's very, it's not as deep. So the other one was as deep from up here all the way down to here. And boy, everything was right at the bottom, of course, because you fill from the bottom. That's gravity requires it. And so it was such a pain in the butt to get in there all the time. So uh, I actually like this fridge a lot. Let me show you what I did not like about it. Uh, I buy 20 ounce bottles of soda and they won't fit uh, like that. So if I close it now, they can't close. So it doesn't hold tall things or milk. I also keep a half gallon of milk usually. And with a half gallon of milk, I can't keep it in here either. Okay, so because I wanted these two things, I bought another fridge, which as far as I can tell, will hold them. It is a Joy Tutus. Who in the world make these names up? They're all Chinese. You know, these things all come from China. It's a Joy Tutus. It's 26 quart. I paid $269 for it. And I also ordered the uh, cover, the outside cover, which was $30. And we'll put it on here in a minute. And so I have $299 invested in this fridge. And uh, so 300 total in a 26 quart. So we're gonna open it now and get it set up and see what happens. One of the things you wanna watch out for is that your fridge uh, stays upright. Mine came uh, from Amazon. I ordered everything from Amazon and it was actually packaged sideways in the box. So I let it sit outside for a couple days. I think one day is all you need, but I let it sit outside for a couple days. I wanted to be certain that all the uh, flu, uh, the um, it's not Freon, whatever it is they're using in these, because they're compressor, because these are 12 volt compressor fridges, that uh, it, got, it got all worked over right. So it's been sitting outside for a couple days. All right. Uh, so the big, big question for me is, will, will these two stand upright? Because that's why I ordered this. It's 26 quart, so it's six quart bigger, but I think it's, I don't know that these numbers are really accurate. Uh, I think it's a much bigger fridge inside, and these will stand up. But let's find out. Ta-da! Yes, they will stand upright. That's why I ordered this. So it was two thirty-nine, and I got the um, the uh, cover to put on it. Let me look, get you the cover. Cover looks pretty good, actually. Oh, it looks really good. It looks really good. Yeah, I'm amazed how thick it is. I'm kind of amazed how uh, it looks really, really helpful. And of course, it's got uh, vents. The vents are open. I, I like the look of that a lot. I can curl this thing with one arm. And I'm 65, I'm not particularly strong. But I can curl this thing, I can't balance it, but with one arm. It is very light. I bet I lost 20 or 30 pounds of weight out of my van, and I'm very happy with that. Oh yeah, I'm very happy with this. Well, that went really, really well. I, I really like this cover. I think that's gonna make a really big difference in the amount of cold. It has great ventilation. Uh, it has cutouts for the handles. There's a, a display panel here. I'll show you that later. So far, I've just been very, very happy with this. So this is just the unboxing video. I'll come back here in a bit and uh, after I've had it a couple days and tell you my, what I think so far. But let me, get, uh, let me get out the rest of the unboxing. So this is what the fridge comes with. It comes with a 12 volt power supply. You just plug this into the fridge and the other end into a cigarette lighter outlet, and there you go. It comes with a manual. Of course, they all come with manuals. 
And then it comes with a 110 power supply. Just a standard old 110 that also plugs into the fridge. So that's what comes with it. So that's what's going on. My truck fridge failed uh, and I got rid of it. And so I was faced with the decision, what will I do? And I decided to go with cheap Chinese fridges. And that's the question that I want to answer for you. Should you think about uh, buying, just keep buying multiple cheap Chinese fridges rather for half or a third of the price of good quality fridges that appear to just continually fail? So that's my question. And in the next video, I'll address that and tell you how I arrived at the conclusion I'm just going to buy these because I think these will last me just as long as the uh, fridges that cost twice or, or triple as much. And, uh, and it's a lot easier to spend $200 for a fridge than for a, a thousand, five, five, six hundred or a thousand. I mean, you've got to lay out that money up front and most of us don't have that kind of money to lay out. Now, let me tell you that the other fridge that, uh, <clears throat> The fridge that my friend loaned me with a bizarre name, uh, it's on sale for right now for $200. It's, it's regularly $237 and Amazon has a $30 off coupon. You can buy that fridge for 200 bucks. I would really buy that fridge. Uh, if you don't care about bottles being able to stand upright and it's 20 quart and holds a lot less, then I would definitely buy that fridge in a, without a question because you can buy three of those for the price of one of the good Dometics or, or any of them that, that have a, you know, we think of as good, and they're not lasting. Uh, they aren't lasting at all. The only thing that will last you really well is like a, an Ingle. I know an Ingle will last you, but it's $900, over $900. And so it's almost five times as much. And, um, that's a lot of money, and who can come up with $900 for a fridge just to outlay that kind of cash? So if you're interested in a fridge, uh, there's a link down below in the description, and you got to go now. This it's uh, Today, I believe, is November 13th, and it'll probably run to a holiday special. Who knows? But uh, you got to get that now because it's $200, bucks, 237 plus a $30 hour off coupon. I really like it. I've been using it for a couple weeks. Well, I waited for this to come in, and then I waited for the uh, uh, fluids to level out. I've been very happy with it. I would be very happy to own it forever or till it broke. And that just seems to be the thing with these fridges. You own them till they break unless you buy an Ingle or perhaps an ARB uh, for 900 bucks and up, 1,000 bucks. So check back. I'll, I'll give you an update in, in about a week or two and, and let you know exactly uh, how I've liked this one and uh, what I think so far. And then we'll do long-term reviews with it as well. So if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. And you'll find the core.